Hi, I'm Spencer and welcome to an Excel VBA tutorial where today I'm going to show you two ways to add a list of months to a combo box on a user form using VBA in Excel. There are uh, always more than one way to do something. I'm going to show you one way and then after I'm going to show you a much easier way to accomplish this using a loop instead of typing out the names of the month one by one. So let's look at method number one. I've got my form here with a combo box on it. Um, combo box is named CBX month. The only property I've really changed on this is the list rows. I changed it to 12 because there's 12 months of the year. I want to be able to see all of them. So let's look at the code for our form. And when I right click and I choose view code, the initial event that it wants me to write code for is the click event, but I really want to write my code on the activate event. When the form is activated, once I see that form, I want to execute my code and add my month names to my combo box. So let's add ourselves some space here, and I'm going to use the with statement. So with me, which is the shorthand to refer to the current user form, dot cbx month, and there's my combo box. Let's just go ahead and close my with statement there. What do I want to do with my combo box? Well, the first thing I want to do is clear it out. If there's anything in there from previous executions of code or showing the form multiple times, I just want to wipe it out, start from scratch. The next thing we want to do is call the add item method so we can add items to our combo box. And the first item I want to add is the month January. And I can repeat this process for every month of the year. And it gets a little repetitive. I have to type every single month out and I could make a spelling error. So again, there is a faster way. I'm going to kind of zoom through the long way so I can show you the faster way sooner. Okay, so I finished my code and I wrote the add item method 12 times to add every single month of the year. While it didn't take me that long, it was still kind of a pain and I, whenever I see a lot of repetition when I'm writing code, I got to think there's got to be an easier way. If I run this code right now, it's going to work fine. Uh, I'm going to see my combo box with my 12 months in it, which is exactly what I want. But let's see if there's a better way to achieve this. And there is. I'm going to use a loop and VBA's month name function. And that function is going to allow me to uh, evaluate each number from 1 to 12 and populate my combo box with each month of the year. So let's start by declaring a variable x. We'll declare x as an integer. Still with my combo box, I'm going to clear it. Um, but instead of adding each item individually, I'm going to run through my loop, 1 through 12. So we'll say 4x equals 1 to 12. I'll close my loop. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to still call my add item method. But instead of adding January, February, March through December, I'm going to pass in the results of the month name function, which is a VBA function that takes a number as a parameter, and I'm going to pass in x. And when month name evaluates x, so when x is 1, month name is going to evaluate that to be January. And when it loops through the second time and evaluates the number 2, it's going to return the result February, and likewise with the number 3 for March, and so on to December. So I can accomplish uh, what 12 lines of code did when I did add item 12 times with one single line using a loop and the month name function. So let's run this and you can see there's my combo box and there's every month of the year. All spelled correctly, all in the proper order. It makes it a lot easier to avoid mistakes doing it this way and also my code is a lot cleaner. Well thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, we'll see you again next time.